Hello everyone, this is Lolly. I am going to zoom in to show you this. So the paperclip theme for September was to you do an envelope or a pocket. And I decided to make a pocket, but that would make it a, a, basically a record album. So the record comes out and there's the album. And I used, this is actually an old hymn page. You can see I got it pretty crooked on there. So I'm going to show you how to do it, and then I'm going to show you the other ones that I made and an alternative back instead of the paperclip blanks which are in my shop. So what I'm using is the one and a quarter inch circle punch and the half inch circle punch, and that makes the album and for, I mean, the record. I'm sorry, it makes the record, and for the album, it's one and a half inches by three inches. So I have this cardstock that I cut up from Blue Fern Studios. And it is, there's three by one and, a, uh, one and a half by three, and I have it scored at one and a half there. Now I want to put the little thumb notch there. You figure out which side you want to be the record album front. And what I'm going to do is just kind of mark the center here. And then on my punch, I'm turning it over and I mark the center back here. So I put this in and I line up those notches. I don't go all the way. So you can see I have the straight edges here and here because I didn't bring it in all the way. I am going to do a little distressing. I'm not sure how well it's going to show up on this paper. I think in the light green spots it'll show up. These are so fast to make and I think you're going to enjoy them. Only glue the sides. You want to clip that just for a moment while we're doing the album. Now for the record, I punched one and a quarter inch and then with a contrasting paper, usually I like this part to match the, the album. So this is my, um, the record label basically. And to find the center of this, I cut out another piece of paper with that half inch punch. I folded it in half, opened it up and folded it in half the other way. And now I see where the center is. So I can line that up and just poke a hole right there, right in the center. And that helps me to, uh, to know where to punch the, the other hole. This I'm just eyeballing and guessing where this should go on the album but you can always do the same thing with this. Cut one of these out in paper and fold it in half and then in half the other way. Okay, so now that I have that, I'm taking a small hole punch and I'm using the 1 8 inch punch from We Are Memory Keepers. So this is on the Cropodile. And I am just, that little hole that I made, I can put that on there spin that around make sure it gets a nice clean cut and you have your album so now that's what will go in there and by now this is already ready and I can put that in there now or I can wait and there you go it's a nice snug fit on purpose because I don't want it just falling out and then any kind of decoration you want for the front I have these recollection floral embellishments I have had these in my stash for a very long time Now I'm going to push that down for a minute while I put this glue up. And then if you want some sort of center for your flower, you know, I'll show you the other albums I made. And you can see there are many variations on what you can put on your album, especially if you have a theme. If you have a song in mind, that would be really funny. I mean, really clever to kind of make your album to match a certain theme. I'm going to use Gem Tack, put that right in the center. Oops, a little too much. And so what I want to do is I have these gold pieces from Pink Fresh Studio. I'm going to put these in the lid because they don't pick up well from a silicone mat. You can see there are many different sizes and I kind of want that small one there. I'm going to use my jewel picker. Grab that and go right in the middle. Perfect. And then all that needs to happen is to glue the back on. Isn't that cute? So let's get a paperclip blank. And then we're going to glue this on there using the power tack. And then I'm going to show you what else you can do to the back so you don't have to use paperclip blanks. And also I have this really fun hole punch I've had in my stash for a long time. 
I have put these on many of the albums, like on this one right here. Okay, so we are going to use Power Tack. No, this is the Quick Grip. That works as well. Put that in the center. Turn that over and let that dry, and I will show you the other ones. So here's the first one I made. And then here's a pink one. And if you have a hard time getting that out, you can notch the back as well. It would make it easier to grab the album and pull it out. And I have this floral one, and I have a sunflower. It's basically a shank button that I cut the back of the shank off. And another one using Blue Fern Studio Paper, and I added the music note to that one. So let's get these all here in front, and then I'll show you what else you can do for the back. There you go, let's get those in the camera. And here's the other one I made, and it's this really cute bee, which is also a button. So if you look at the back, what I did was I just glued a paper clip straight to the back of here, and I made another album, and I glued the album on over the paper clip just to protect and hide the top of the paper clip. So how easy is that? You don't have to have the paper clip blanks, it's just another option. And there you have the collection, and so quick and fun to make. I think you're going to love making these. Thank you everyone for watching. The links are going to be under this video, so you need to click to expand the information and see all the supplies as well as all my other paperclip videos. Thank you everyone.